welcome back to Prepper Boss on a dreary, drizzly day here in Kentucky near the Ohio River. So taking advantage of having to work inside, we're going to build another section of storage space for all of our preps. Looking at this space over our deep freeze and it was just sitting there going to waste. So stay tuned. We'll show you the tools, the items you need, and how to do it. And in a couple hours you can capture some unused storage space for your preps. Stay tuned. A list of tools you'll most likely need for this project is a stepladder. Make sure you have ear protection for the power tools. A speed square, drill bits, drill drivers, flathead, Phillips, square recessed, whatever you end up needing. Depending on the screws you use, you'll need some screws. Carpenter's pencil, a level. I used a drill driver, an electric drill, all battery powered, and a circular saw. Have your tools ready when you get ready to start. Have your measurements ready. In this case, I did a fill-in job. All the other ones I've done on both sides of the garage were in eight foot sections. I'll leave a list of all the tools you need down in the description. A plan so you can make a cut list, cut everything, put... One little tip I learned is I've got the concrete screws in an old peanut butter jar. I just went ahead and put the concrete drill bits in this jar with the screws so I don't have to look for them. Concrete screws. And you'll need a concrete drill bit to fit the screws. Then you'll drive it in once you have the pilot hole driven in the concrete. You'll use the impact driver with a little attachment like this that fits the screw. And that makes things so much easier and quicker. And that'll drive that right into the pilot hole in the concrete. And then you'll have a nice, sturdy group of shelves. Have all your tools ready, have all your boards cut, and we'll show you how it's done. A trick I learned from another YouTube video who were doing similar shelves is we'll measure two boards, temporarily attach them to these, and then that'll give us a mirror image for the outside supports. Then we'll put the upper supports, take these off, and we'll have this all set to put the plywood in as a shelf. Ninety two and three fourths.
and just measure off the first board. Make sure the end's about up even. pre-drill these to make it easier to temporarily put them in place. Okay, we're going to drill the uprights into the temporary cross beams and we'll be able to finish the shelves. of this shelving unit is 93 inches. So we'll make both shelves 93 inches long. We've got the upright supports in place, so we're going to take the temporary screws out and then we'll be able to place the shelves in. Okay, we'll loosely place the shelves in position. It's probably the most difficult part of the whole project. And then we'll tack them in place and that'll keep everything nice and stable. So we're screwing the shelves into place and then it'll be good and solid. So there you have it. This is 28 cubic feet of space that beforehand was wasted zero cubic feet. So look around your garage, your workshop, see where you can utilize space that you're not using already. I've got a ton of space out in the outbuilding garage that I'm going to put trailer supplies and all kinds of stuff for storage during the winter. And all you got to do is look and you will find it. 
Thanks for hanging out today while we did this. Please like and subscribe if you found this worthwhile, and we'll see you on the next